Hello everyone, this is Sandeep Sharma here and as a part of the integrated module GEMS in the Achievers course, here we shall be integrating three important concepts of pharmacology, microbiology and medicine in one topic of HIV. Now the topic we shall be discussing is HIV entry in CD4 plus T cells, what is the normal mechanism in a pictorial form and Ibalizumab, the new monoclonal antibody against HIV which is also a potential pharmacology MCQ. So here we go. Now HIV-1 virus has a special affinity for CD4 plus T cells. The CD4 plus T cells, if the surface we look at them, you will find that the CD4 receptor looks something like this. This is the extracellular domain of the CD4 receptor which has been shown and the extracellular part comprises four subdomains which are sometimes called as D1 d2 d3 and d4 it is the d1 and d2 part which we are concerned with so these are the four parts of the cd4 receptor as you can see in this labeled picture the four domains have been shown and from understanding point of view it is the d1 and the d2 domains which are of importance in understanding the normal hiv entry now look at this diagram. This is showing what actually normally happens in a normal HIV infection. HIV on its surface has this glycoprotein 120 uh, receptors, the molecules. Glycoprotein 120 receptor has its own small little parts and there is another glycoprotein known as glycoprotein 41 which is not normally present on the surface. Its role will come a bit later. This is your CD4 receptor. And this is your chemokine receptor 5, also sometimes known as the co-receptor or CCR5 receptor. Now what happens is, as a first step, the D1 domain of the CD4 receptor interacts and binds with the V1 and V2 part of glycoprotein 120 molecule. Now this initial binding, what it does is, it produces structural changes in the glycoprotein 120 molecule. The previously hidden part known as V3 now comes out and interacts with the CCR5 receptor. This interaction of GP120 V3 with CCR5 now exposes the glycoprotein 41 which was normally hidden. So this is GP41 which is now getting exposed and when this process happens, the GP120 itself, its role is over, it starts getting dissolved, leaving only GP41 visible. Now here we can see the GP41 has been exposed. This GP41 now attaches to the membrane of the T cell and mediates the entry of the virus genome, the, the fusion of the virus molecule with the host T cell. Now this is your imalizumab. What does imalizumab do? It is an anti-CD4 monoclonal antibody which binds to the D2 domain of the CD4 receptor. 